What's up, everybody? Flames of 38 here. Back to the grind. Um, now that we have made it past the army, um, we are going to make some uh, game time adjustments here. Um, because I, I now have full knowledge that, like, yeah, I'm going to have to start picking up weapons. And I'm also going to have to start picking up bows because uh, this, this bad boy... Uh, twice now has, has either broken or almost broken on me. So let's just go ahead and drop these three level five bows. It's going to be okay. We're going to be able to pick up better ones. Um, shield. I mean, we kind of have to keep the minecart shield. And <laughs> I would love to keep old wooden shield shield. Uh, but we do need to start making a little more room, so let's drop these two and pick up any nice ones we see. Here, unironically, I'm keeping tree with branch, uh, branch with rock. That's not going anywhere. We can go ahead and drop this, I think, and I feel like we can probably drop the torch um, to make room for some better stuff. I think I'm probably not going to try to grab too many Moblin weapons, the big two-handed ones, because those are really, it feels like, only useful for the spinny. Um, that's useful against the Bokoblins, which that's what I have this for. Once that runs out, the two-handeds are kind of the most dangerous, because you don't get much from Flurry Rush with that. And, um, yeah. And Flurry Rush is, is definitely the way to go once you reach a certain point. So I think I'm going to focus on one-handed swords, because that way I can keep a shield out, and spears, because those give me really good flurry rushes. I, I can't believe I, I slept on spears for so long. Um, this has been really good. Okay. And then I think that's it for equipment. Can we, like... Okay, we can't just drop that. I, I just... I've never been tempted, but I want to establish firmly that I that there has been we're no closer to being tempted by this than we were at the beginning um so I think that should be good I've considered attaching um horriblin pieces to these weapons before what I'm going to do is save over what I just did save over the drops so that I don't have to do that every time um but I'm a little bit worried because, like, attaching Horriblin to this made into a sledgehammer, which doesn't affect its handling too much, but I think it does slightly affect the handling. And I'm worried about being thrown off my rhythm with what I've gotten used to from these two. Um, so I think I'm going to keep them as is for now, even though I probably won't be using the Horriblin pieces all that much. Um, we're going to see if we can make do with this. So with that in mind, yeah stay over there it's possible that if i save right now and i change my mind i can go back and grab those when i reload the save but they also might they might despawn as soon as i reload the save but i'm committing to the bit after after i've cleared having cleared the army i'm feeling good we're gonna go ahead and save let's this is this is very pedantic Let's save while looking forward. It's probably not going to save with the camera in that position, but just in case it does, I don't have to move the camera every single time. Okay, we're committed. Let's do it. See you on the other side, friends. I think, even though this is not the sweeping rules I've been using so far, I think I am going to skip past the entire army. You guys saw how I deal with the Moblins, or whatever the tall boys are called. It's it's not particularly thrilling. It's It's going to be okay that you don't get to see me do that. Um, so, yeah, see you in a bit. Ow. Ow. Archer started to come forward faster than I expected. Gotta keep an eye on that. Ow. Picked up a bow this time. That's some exciting news. Ow. Another beheading. Those ones are always tough. God damn it, I was trying to zigzag. But he got me. Shot me right in the ass. Ow. Alright, in what will likely save cumulative hours of time, I want to make sure that I save with the two-handed blade equipped. Just so I don't have to keep switching to that. Cool. Alright. Alright. 
Okay, so attaching the big boy uh, moblin guy, the, the big, big boy, um, attaching that to a sword, very good. I've discovered. All right, back in it. Um, we've learned a little bit, a little bit, a little bit from last time. Um, I am on one heart, I believe, so still got to be very, very careful here. But um, yeah, good thing to know is that we have all the time in the world down here. Just want to double check and see. I uh, can't save right now. Um, that is probably very good. I think let's just start picking stuff up um, before it all goes flying away. Yeah, we have a heck of a collection right here, which is very nice. Oh no, I don't want to. I don't want double-handed. Do we have any single-handed left? Doesn't look like it. No, yeah, that's fine. We can have one. Okay. Yeah, this this is very good. This one is very good. Um, but for right now, we don't need any of that. close enough for this, but we can shoot a couple. Okay! Let's just drop right back down to the ground after that one, huh? Let's just, let's take a little break in between each little chunk. No need to rush. That health bar is down. It's gonna stay down. <laughs> to, to the best of my knowledge. Yeah, because then, because that way you can't screw us over with that, because that's what killed us last time. Shouldn't waste too much time, because everyone's waiting on us, but... We don't have to. We can, we can take it a little bit easy from time to time. Why do I get the feeling he's going to become angrier as the fight goes on? Like, are those rocks already point here? It's kind of hard to tell, but it seems like maybe. Oh, there's a lot of rocks coming right at me. Okay, that counts. Let's clear and then run. Okay. Yep. Alright, yeah, that's definitely the way to go, is, is reset to the ground. I'm curious if, uh, if you fight this guy normally, if, uh, you're even supposed to have grounds to stand on. This feels like it could very much and try like, oh no, I almost just fell into him there. That would have been bad. Um, I'm curious if you're even supposed to be able to have a grounds to reset back to because um, the fact that he's not attacking me down here at all makes me think um, I'm not even supposed to be here. Could you please stop? coming right at me. No, don't do that. Alright, let's just disappear and then let's let's climb. Don't don't Oh, 
I saw it coming, but even if I even if I used the parasail, it still would have been angled right towards me. Damn. Ah, oh, I just want to see what's next after we take care of those three rings. We almost had them there. Damn. All right. <sighs> yeah, that wasn't it. I, I could feel it. That wasn't it. Why I have the shield out? Why did I even do that? It's a mystery to all of us, especially me. <sighs> Gotta get that shield out. It's just, it's a vital piece of the puzzle. Damn. Just a case of bad timing, as it always is. Just a case of bad timing, as it always is. Okay, thought I was out of reach. Clearly I wasn't. I'm not saying that one was bullshit, but clearly, clearly. Ow. Really thought he was in range that time, but I guess it was just a case of bad timing, as it always Ow. Shields are important, turns out. Also, ow in real life. Just hit a hangnail real bad. So thanks, Bocoblins, if that is your real name. God, that guy that guy's just been camping the whole time. Completely forgot about him. Damn it. Golly, I was strafing the whole time. You ever, I always, I've always thought of Bokoblins as pretty little guys, but it's only when you like, you're looking up close and you see Link standing and, in my case, often dying right next to them, that like, they're as tall as Link. They're, they're full, they're full guys. They just have really big heads, so they seem like little gremlins. But they're big boys. I'm not, here's how much I will, no, I'll wait for the death. Ow. Here's how much I've evolved, is that time I almost knocked Big Boy off the cliff and I was like, no, no, don't, I want your horn now. It's really, really good. <laughs> like, the horn is good enough that, like, Colgara seems very arrow-based, but after we're done with Colgara, I am, like, curious just how much health I'll be able to do against the bosses with, with with big boy horn sword. <sighs> Sometimes multiple enemies just attack at once, and if you go in Fleur Flurry Rush, you just die. That's the lesson from today, folks. Also, sometimes the big boss guy's horn just disappears. Also that. even though it would be really nice if we got to keep that. God damn it. Archers, man. They suck. God damn it. I leave you alone for five seconds and you kill me. What, is that your job or something? I did learn something, though, which is that um, the spin attack and the slam down attack, which famously kills uh, one horners and one hit, that can be for the whole family. No reason to leave the archers out. God damn it. The only problem is when the archers notice you, they start shooting at you. Ow. God damn it. Didn't even mean to do that. Stop throwing rocks at me. Okay, well, at least it wasn't just one try today. It's been a hot 90 minutes trying to get uh, these two runs in against the first boss. Okay.
It looks like two. We're, we're running low on non two handeds, unfortunately. So, yeah, let's just go with that. Nah. We can do better than that. I have some things in my inventory that can do better than that if we can't find anything else. Where's the, where's the black moblin horn? This? That's better. Okay, and let's get another Gibdo. I'm nervous because it specifically says the Gibdos are, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, not vulnerable, but, you know, break easily. Fragile, although that's not the word used. Delicate? What the fuck is the, what, what's the... I don't know. I don't know, man. Do I have to wait for pretty much all of them to go, or will it stop shooting things once I break the thing? Do you think? Do we have any bows we don't want? Um, we can drop the 14. No, don't equip it. In fact, equip this one if we if we have to equip anything. Drop that one. Grab this one. Awesome. I feel like if the camera's not exactly right, I just won't lift up. I, Link has to be on screen for the camera to work properly. <laughs> I got it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, he kind of flew through me, but that's okay. We'll allow that. That thing that explicitly could have hurt me if the game wanted to be rude, but it did not hurt me. I'll allow that. Okay. This, the, the, the motif there sounds very familiar. I can't quite place it. I don't know if that's just a Breath of the Wild thing. Dun, 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 dun. I feel like I've heard that before, but I don't know exactly where. Okay, it has to be like third one is purposely hardest because that's, that was making me nervous. Will that do it? Nope. Can we get one last one? Did not get it. That's fine. I was getting nervous. And we have plenty of arrows. For now. Hey, it worked that time. I'm, I'm primarily nervous about running into him on the way up, honestly. Looks like a phase two. Now he looks upset. <laughs> this is going to be a ground battle now. 
Uh, he looks the same, uh, but now he has whirlwinds. Okay. Oh, Link, I don't know if that's the best idea. Okay, do the whirlwinds still get me down here? That's the big question. Because I know he's going to be angry at me now. I'm not stupid. <laughs> Seems chill for the moment. I feel like I narrowly avoided the whirlwinds last time, so I'm a little bit nervous, but... Okay, now he's now he's back on his bullshit. Okay, I it looks like game is actually gonna be very generous about if he bumps into me, despite his spikiness. sure you want to do that? Do you think it might be nicer if you um, didn't do that? At least these things seem to have a top and a bottom to them. That's actually very generous. Oh, I didn't like that. Okay, got him. It's reset. <sighs> this really, this is really big Shadow of the Colossus vibes. Getting Skyward Sword vibes from that. I, I can't definitively say that's from Skyward Sword, but that that motif sounds Skyward Swordy. I don't like I don't like any of what's happening here. I know it's going exceedingly well for me, but I don't like it. So noticing, yeah, I'm not getting that much upward spin for the moment. Okay, there we go. Oh, another one? In fact, it looks like the gusts are creating upward movement, which is important for me to defeat the monster. Could you, could you please not? Good lord. It's important to me that you stop doing that and go back to your back, back to your old bullshit like this. Okay. Marbled Goma. 
Let's keep our shield out, shall we? Do I have a normal sword? No, I don't want the claymore. Yeah, give me a club. Okay. Those explode. Or, ooh, ooh. I think I have an idea of what to do here. Y yeah, that, I any of them, any of them truly. Yeah. Oh, that didn't do as much as I wanted, but it did do something. Okay, he didn't like it that time. It still didn't do a ton of damage, but it did something. Now he's st stunned, but I don't trust... Oh, okay. I'm realizing I used a boatload of arrows on um, Colgara that I didn't realize I had done. Should probably put some some. Some stuff on these, huh? What do we got? We have some ones that increase damage, right? I think the Lizalfos Talons do that, right? Let's let's double check that before we go all in on that. Yeah. It didn't seem like it did a bunch, but surely it did something. The eyes grant a homing ability. Arrows fly farther when a wings attach. That's a fun one. I think that's pretty much it, but better than nothing. Okay, that knocked me over, but it did not do damage. I'm nervous about having to run underneath him at some point. That does also hit the shield. I'm running under him, it's happening. So if I run out of arrows, I can just do the very long version of only uh, Bombas, but that feels boring. Okay, this one's actually a lot more boring than Kolgara is. Kolgara's really cool. This is this is just uh This is just busy work up until the claws come at me.
That being said, I should be prepared for stage two. In fact, I would Im I would imagine stage two might just be Goma, who will probably be much faster. Could I? Would you let me? It'll probably explode before it gets there, but... Ah, uh, if I had hit it differently, I might have... fun. Could be fun. I know this is boring, but I'm worried about using up all my arrows, considering I started with over 100 and I'm already back down to 50. Don't know how important arrows are going to be for the rest of these guys. And as of right now, it seems like this is pretty much his only move until he gets closer. So maybe one more arrow just to speed things up a little bit. And that's one more explosion should get him down to half health. Whew! All right. It might be boring, but at least it's easy. Easier than Cool Gear, I'll say that for free. Oh, you're still up, buddy? That's alright, one more. It's interesting that the recall logo up there has, like... I can't tell if that's actually kanji or if it just resembles kanji, but... You don't see... Considering there's, like, an actual Hyuna language that got invented for Zelda, you don't see, uh... Um, just actual lettering from real life very often. Okay, he's still marbled. Oh, that's, that's worse. Oh, hi. At least I can kind of freeze time with this gimmick. That's fun. Okay, that did something, it would seem. Okay, so those are designed to trap me. And then he's supposed to shoot more at me, but I can still do the same thing I did before. Unless he moves! Fucking asshole. less marbled. I don't like how big your health bar is, sir. Not with how many arrows I have. It also even has some shield up now. So those all also explode. That's that's a little scary. Damn. Okay, but I can double up at least.
and that stuns him so the second one can also get into place. Cool! Alright, this ain't terrible. Nice. Excuse me. I am curious if there's a better way to do this. Like, am I supposed to climb up there and slash at the eye? Because I'm not doing that. One wrong move and I'm toast. I have one heart left, guys. I am playing it as safe as I possibly can at this point in time. This is the farthest we've ever gotten. Okay, that one did not explode. That's fine. Damn. I'm also noticing he's getting me pretty close to the cliff here, so I'm going to have to make a run for underneath him in the near future. Okay, that one exploded. That's fine. Oh, that one exploded. Oh, no, it didn't. It looked like it exploded because it was so close to the other explosions, but it's not exploded yet. That gives us a nice... A nice... A double explosion! Oh, that, that wasn't supposed to go that way, but okay. God, I keep over-adjusting. How foolish of me. There's some arrows that I missed over here that I can get, though. That's nice. That's a positive thing. Those explosions are bigger than I keep thinking, and I think I am... It keeps being a closer call than I'm imagining just because my camera is pointed away from it when it happens. I'm glad I remembered that recall works the way it does so soon, because I I would be I would be embarrassed if it took me a very long time to figure out how this boss works. God damn it. That almost just crushed me. I should be careful about that as well. I should probably just keep running. There's a hit.
Nope, too much. No! Is that about to hit me? God damn. Stop that. I'm worried about them landing on me at this point. It's it's getting real scary. <laughs> Okay, it didn't land on me, so we should be fine, as long as I don't... Oh god, as long as I don't get exploded. Okay! I did not enjoy that one. That one was way less fun than Colgara was. I did not expect a small boy. Now I'm scared. Muck to rock? keep my shield out. Or maybe I... Okay. Is it gonna be a double boss? Or is that part of it? He's a Splatoon... Okay, he's a Splatoon monster. Okay. Okay. Is the shield highly damaged? Cool. Let's just, let's just not even worry about that then. Okay, big radius, but not not invincible. Just learning the move set. All right. That's fine. That's fine. I can deal with that. I have a shield. Yeah, that's gonna do that. Okay. This ain't terrible. Kinda spooky, but not terrible. Curious, I'm curious how much health this thing has, considering... I wonder if I do any health before I attack the muck. Maybe I have to clear the, the thing away. Okay, that did nothing. Perfect dodging hasn't done anything yet. Okay, shield does not block that. Good to know. Okay. Well, that's right around the two hour mark for me. Hey, Kogera is scary, but hype. Armored Goma is just a chore. So now we get to figure out what the fuck the deal with this thing is. I should probably figure out... There's four... Actually, let's just hit continue and, and let, let me remind myself what the fuck this game is even about. 
because recall is essential to defeating Goma. That's very clear. I don't I don't know if there's any conventional. I guess like a bunch of really well timed arrows could do it, but I don't think there's any like simple conventional way to defeat Goma. So I'm curious. We've got recall for Goma. I don't think fuse is going to be particularly useful aside from getting better weapons. We do have ultra hand. There's that's not useful for Mukturok, but I should keep that in mind for the fourth boss in case we have to combine some shit. And then we have Ascend, which does not feel particularly relevant. And then we have Map. Okay, so I don't think it's that. Um, we have not unlocked the secret of Mukturok yet, although we know it is now important. Get the fuck out of his range when he does the splash attack, because shields will do nothing to save you. Um, but yeah, that's two bosses defeated, guys. I, like, I, it takes a while to get there. And I know it's probably only been like 15 minutes since I was like, what's up, everybody? Flames of the here. Um, because so much of that time was just spent getting through the Grand Army. But we have defeated two out of, I assume, four bosses, which is hype. That's rad. And then presumably after that is uh, our, our final big boy. Our, we, get to, we get to fight Matt Mercer and see who comes out on top. It's going to be Matt. It's going to be Matt nine times out of ten. But one time out of ten, Matt, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you with my... No, not with that. You know what I'm gonna what I'm gonna get him with. Nothing beats branch with rock. Anyways, good night everybody. I don't want to accidentally, like, win on a round without Branch with Rock. So we're just gonna make sure I don't accidentally... If I ace it on my next round, I don't want the, the one I ace it on to be the one where I've already thrown Branch with Rock. So we're... That still counts on the death timer, on the, on the death counter, but there's a reason I did that. It's so that we can keep the almighty Branch with Rock which is really the key to all this. Honestly, about on par with being shirtless is holding Branch with Rock at all times. And I know you keep saying, Flint, that's not the name of the weapon. The name of the weapon is Rock Hammer. No, it's not. The game is wrong. This weapon is Branch with Rock. And you you simply, if, if you want to call it Rock Hammer, you're simply mistaken. It's Branch with Rock. Anyways, good night, everybody.